Have you ever wondered what happens if a Formula 1 Grand Prix starts but does not finish due to weather conditions? In this video, we will discuss how points are allocated if an F1 race is suspended. Let's get started. In 2021, there was a lot of controversy around the topic of points awarded for races which were not completed. Yes, I'm referring to the 2021 Belgian Grand Prix. Originally intended to be run over a distance of 44 laps, due to wet weather conditions, only two laps took place behind the safety car before a red flag brought an end to the race during lap 3. The sporting regulations at that time allowed results to be calculated after just one completed lap. As a consequence of this, half points were given to the drivers who finished in the top 10 positions. This result was seen as unfair by most. Several drivers criticized the decision to award points despite the fact that no green flag running had taken place. Fernando Alonso, who finished 11th, called the decision shocking, while 5th place Sebastian Vettel described it as a joke. The finishing order was the exact same as the qualifying order. As a consequence of this Grand Prix, there were some changes that were introduced for 2022. Section 6.5 in the FIA sporting regulations explains what happens if a race is suspended and cannot be resumed. Let's take a look. No points will be awarded if the leader has completed less than two laps. No points will be awarded unless a minimum of two laps have been completed by the leader without a safety car or VSC intervention. Note the changes here. If these were the regulations last year, no points would have been awarded at the Belgian Grand Prix since both laps took place behind the safety car. If the leader has completed more than two laps but less than 25% of the scheduled race distance, points will be awarded to the top five finishers. 6 points for the winner, 4 points for 2nd, 3 points for 3rd, 2 points for 4th, and 1 point for 5th. If the leader has completed 25% but less than 50% of the scheduled race distance, points will be awarded to the top 9 finishers, starting with 13 points to the winner and working all the way down to 1 point for 9th place. If the leader has completed 50% but less than 75% of the scheduled race distance, points will be awarded to the top 10 drivers, with 19 points going to the winner and working all the way down to one point for the 10th place finisher. If the leader has completed more than 75% of the scheduled race distance, full points will be awarded. We saw an example of this in the Monaco Grand Prix this year, where Sergio Perez completed more than 75% of the distance and he was awarded full points. So what about a sprint race? If a sprint session is suspended, points will be awarded only if the leader has completed more than 50% of the scheduled sprint session distance and more than two laps were completed by the driver without a safety car or VSC intervention. Hope this video helped you learn about how points are awarded if a race is suspended. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.